little video of the truck. Um, I've been filming this since I got it years ago and built it. But heaps of crap footage, heaps of phone footage. Um, and since then, well, it used to be my tow truck. Now it's been converted into a coffee truck for Sian, my partner. Um, there's the old tray that used to be on the truck. There's a winch still in it and everything. This is actually going on a different truck we're building. Um, I basically bought this truck the day after Summer Nats, I think three years ago, maybe four years ago. And by the next Summer Nats, we drove it there. So 12 months later, we drove it to Summer Nats, which is pretty cool, because I bought it as just a cab. Um, then I bought a Toyota Coaster bus, pulled the bus off it, uh, stuck the truck cab on it and the tray on it, used it as a tow truck for probably two years, and then decided to build this rear and turn it to a coffee truck for Sian. So, been a bit slack on it, and this is a bit a bit above our heads. Half this stuff, it's pretty complex, but yeah, it's all aluminium cladded, um, like cool old hinges on it to kind of fit the era. Cool old doors, stuff like that's how the door locks locks open instead of putting an ugly latch and. Obviously stuff I've been working on today, which is the sunken cameras and all the generator. It runs a four-cylinder Cummins, I think it's 12 kVA generator. So there's a little four-cylinder diesel there, which runs off the truck's diesel tank. There's an exhaust there, a little muffler, which plums into the truck's exhaust. Um, just heaps of stuff really. Obviously all aluminium frame doors or things like this. Once they're closed you can hardly tell. Same as the side door, it's all pretty flush fitting. Um, there's two hundred litre water tanks underneath here. One's for drain, one's for clean. There's another 50 litres under there. And, um, obviously all custom wheel tubs and started insulating it. This is the back side of the generator. It's got a separate fan and radiator. Um, all stainless water pipes were made and everything's kind of been done to be nice and just last the test of time. We cut the back of the truck cab out, which was a hard decision to make. But I just want Sian to be able to pull up, walk through the truck, and yeah, just have heating in here. And this is going to be seating for the kids, or whoever really. Straight across there, we're going to put a TV. Um, it's got full split system air conditioning. Just, yeah, it's just got a, a lot of tech really in this truck, a lot of cool stuff, and trying to build it a bit different to the. To the others um, get a lot of I don't know what the word is like inspiration off a local coffee truck which is a business called Dose which is Dimitri they just have a beautiful coffee van which is parked at Marion so always you know just see how they run their business which is just awesomely ran always super clean always super cool looking and so he's inspired us a lot um, with this build and he's also helpful he's, um, with it all so yeah that's the rough gist of the truck build runs 22 inch alcohol wheels the whole truck's fully legal it literally sits at like 100 mil 102 mil static there's no no airbags or any of that those silly things in here um in the truck itself odyssey seats yeah just we've put the misters in it because it runs vintage air air conditioning and heating and stereo and um see what happens here
Yeah, so it runs a AIM dash, all GPS speed and everything, dual fuel tanks and some diesel tanks. Um, obviously side exhaust. Just uh, has come in what turbo TDO5. It's got a big, bigger diesel pump in it. Runs 26 pounds. Um, oh, it's a bit of a mess under here at the minute. We've got a bit of wiring hanging, but that's under the the bonnet. This is not normally here. Got to be messing with cameras and all that kind of stuff has um, all the electrical, all the relays and fuses are all obviously in a nice watertight box. This will just recess for the pedal box and stuff like that. All my mod plates. Um, so this truck is legal Australia wide, which is pretty good. It's still registered as a light truck. Obviously intercooler and it's all seen a bit of use. I noticed a bit of dust coming out of the filter. Yeah, so I'll put a fair few picks of this truck up while it was in the build. When I picked it up, a lot of it's going to be crappy old footage. Um, just done it on our phones and everything. But give you a rough idea of where this thing started and um, just, yeah, how it's, how it's come along. And yeah, you can see the... Big beautiful hinges there. Just like when it's closed, it just looks cool. It does a little like a typical um, hinge. And same, just like a container door style lock. And just the back there. Still doors and stuff, obviously doing rear bumper. So not rear bumper, rear step. Um, side doors, all aluminium. Aluminium frame, aluminium panelled. We'll be putting aluminium sheeting in here now, doing a ceiling and things like that. Yeah, so 1954 International COE in Australia, ARC 160. This is an Aussie built truck. They've got them in America with some slight differences, but this is an Aussie truck, which is cool. Um, yeah, there's, like I said, there's been a lot that's been done to it. Uh, hopefully we can do this last big stint on it and just get this thing finished because it's been sitting for way way too long you can see the other side of the cab cut here can't see where we've welded in a full section half blended the paint in with the rattle can yeah it's runs a lot of the toyota coaster bus stuff so engine cover gear stick and handbrake and pedals and booster and steering columns all like 2000 model Toyota Coaster, so it runs the 1HZ, 1HZ, but turbo. Um, yeah, see how we go with getting this thing done pretty soon. I'd like to think it'd be done in the next few months. So, it depends, sometimes I get carried away. <laughs> There's another truck I'm building too, so yes, it's a just a, I guess, an intro and an update and everything on my um not even mine it's my partner's truck now because i'm building myself a new truck but the coffee truck build thank you generator out of the coffee truck <laughs> show a bit of the work that's been done so far all the stainless water pipes factory when you run these generators um you just have rubber pipe but it wasn't heat keen on that so having a little fixed like secured bolted up stainless pipes the way to go and typically the exhaust is straight out but we got a muffler kit and a flexi some nice rubber muffler brackets there which bolts up to the chassis and then it plums into the factory truck exhaust so it will feed out the truck the outside so yeah it's um a bit more fab on the coffee truck.
Boss, I'm looking at. That's good. Can we see your license, please? And if you want to, Jay, just do me the favor. I'm recording you. If you want to record yeah. me, let's well, be honest about that. Do you remember last time when the when the footage disappeared? You know the stuff that got thrown out of court. Yeah, I got thrown out of court because I couldn't get a statement to confirm that you weren't at. Um... You want to sort that out? Can I show my engineers before you hassle me? I'll speak to you later. Let's go. go. You would have caused that, you know. Fucking wanker. China. Here we are. 